Welcome back to the Wayne and Ronnie Show. Uh, today, on behalf of Tanya Jail, we are at Proton Setapak. Yes, uh, next to us here, we have the all-new X50, uh, the flagship model. And then, uh, you know, it was super hyped up two days ago when uh, Proton finally uh, released their price. So it starts from the uh, standard model and then to the executive, to the premium and next to us here is the flagship model that is priced at 103000 on the road without insurance. And today we're going to show you what the flagship model has to offer compared to the premium. Stay with us. at a glance between the uh, premium and also the flagship you can't actually tell both cars apart except for the coloured roof so the uh, flagship model has a black colour rooftop be it whatever car body colour it is it's all black colour roof but whereby the premium the top follows the body colour so assuming the body colour is white then the top is white lah. and then uh, practically uh, if it's driven side by side other than the roof rims, quad exhaust everything else is exactly the same so moving from the exterior of the car, we will talk slightly more about the engine, especially the flagship variant. Because why? The fuel system used by this particular variant is a direct injection, where the regular, premium, standard and executive, they're actually using a multi-point injection. And then the, for the regular horsepower, it's only 150, whereby this particular variant, it boosts up 27 horsepower, and the horsepower now is actually at 177. So before we move on to the uh, safety feature of the car, which we will most likely explain when we are inside the car, uh, let's talk about this few other features. Um, this flagship variant, it comes with additional rain sensing wipers. So practically, you just need to switch it on to automatic and then when it sends water or rain, the wipers will automatically move. Right, so that's feature one, uh, the addi additional features. Lah. So that's another one would be the uh, panoramic sunroof. Right, so practically if you want to enjoy KL City view or whatsoever, you know, just open it and then, yeah, practically you can see everything. Lah. So, last but not least, we also have the, uh, this one, auto dimming rear view mirror, where, as, you know, assuming that you're driving at night, right, there's, uh, there's one, one car at the back at high beam or at very high glaring lights. So, this mirror will automatically help you to reduce the glare. So, it dims it down. So, it's, uh, it's more comfortable for you to drive. We'll be moving on to the safety feature of the flagship variant and this one, only the flagship variant has it. The first safety feature would be the autonomous emergency braking. So what happened is, let's say for example, uh, I think you guys seen, seen the video, uh, like a zebra crossing or whatsoever, somebody actually crossing the road and then when the car sends that somebody in front and you are going to hit those people, you know, it will automatically brake. Not only people, motorbikes, cars, you know, uh, which are stationary, they, they will, they will break it automatically. Additional safety feature number two would be the forward collision warning. Assuming that you're driving on a highway, right, when the computer feels that you are moving too fast and you're coming in too fast, it will give you some sort of a warning so that you will actually back down the accelerator of the car. And moving on to feature number three and four, which is the uh, adaptive cruise control and the intelligent cruise control. Uh, if you're following the car, uh, assuming you set it at 100, you know, once you go near a car that's go moving on 80, the car will automatically slow down at 80, and when the car speeds up, and then there goes, uh, or the car moves away, and then your speed will automatically increase back to 100. Additional feature number 5 and 6, which is the uh, lane keep assist, and then lane departure warning. As when you drive, uh, it actually has sensors at the side of the car, where it actually sends the, you know, the, the, the white colour dot, dotted lines on the lane, uh, when, you, when you're too close, it will actually signal you saying that hey, you're too, too near to the, or you're crossing the lane without putting on signal. Are you aware that you're actually moving on one lane to another? And moving on to uh, say additional safety feature number 7 and 8. So number 7 comes in the uh, intelligent high beam control. Number 8 would be blind spot information system. So blind spot information system is where when uh, you are switching lane or you are trying to go to the next lane and when it senses that there's a car next to you, uh, it will tell you that, hey, 
you bang to the car, you bang to the car next to you. Uh, you need to wait for the car to pass, or you pass the car. Only then you you, you cut in. So they will give you all this kind of uh, smart information. And last but not least, the uh, the flagship model comes with an auto parking system, so whereby uh, it can practically help you uh, if you're really bad at parking lah. So this car will be able to help you move into a tight spot. So for those of you who thinks that opening and closing this X50 boot is a hassle, uh, Proton now has an additional accessory where they allow you to uh, fit on the uh, power boot only at 3000 plus. And then for those of you who thinks, you know, this is a must-have convenience feature, which I think it will make my life so much easier. But just touch of a button, the boot closes. You know, with the touch of a button, the boot opens. And now for me, to, in order for me to close this boot, I need to use the strength and, you know, just to close it. It's a hassle. But with 3000 plus, I think, you know, it will make, it will definitely change your life. So this flagship X50 is actually 10,000 ringgit more expensive than the premium model. But in our opinion, it's actually well worth the price. Because as what Ronnie has shared with you, the additional features, and especially the safety features, mm -hmm you're actually getting way more value than what you're paying way for. Way more, that's right, way more. Uh, which is why in our opinion, we think that uh, the flagship model is really worth the additional 10,000 ringgit. So that's all we have for you today about the X50. So if you have any comments or opinion, please co comment on our section below. And remember always to like our page, follow us. And again, thanks to Proton Setapa and also Tanja for arranging this car for us. And we'll see you in the next episode. Your voice echoes in my mind.